2020 was challenging in every respect, but we were able to make a strong final spurt. EBIT before special items not only exceeded our October guidance for the full year, but also that of the analysts. For the full year, EBIT before special items was down 23% year on year to 3.6 billion euro due to the pandemic. However, we almost matched the previous year's level of sales volumes, achieving sales of 59.1 billion euro. The strong fourth quarter of 2020 was a highlight. We increased volumes in all regions by 7% overall compared with the prior year quarter. In Greater China, we even continued to record double-digit volume growth. We reduced our fixed costs and maintained high liquidity. On our path to a more sustainable business, we achieved important milestones in 2020. We have commissioned a methane paralysis test plant for the CO2-free production of hydrogen, brought the first commercial volumes for our chem cycling projects to market, and increased sales of accelerator products by 11%. We expect the global economy to recover, but there remain high uncertainties for the economy as a whole. In our forecast, we assume that our customer industries will grow. For the automotive industry in particular, we expect significant production growth. For global chemical production, we expect growth of 4.4%, thus well above the previous year. Based on these assumptions, we aim to increase our sales to between 61 billion and 64 billion euro. We expect the BSF Group EBIT before special items to be between 4.1 billion euro and 5 billion euro. We also expect a further growth in sales of accelerator products and a stable CO2 emissions compared with the previous year. We will systematically drive BSF's transformation towards a more agile and customer-focused company. We will successfully complete our excellence program and in addition focus strictly on capital and cost discipline. We also will continue to energetically expand sustainability and innovation and implement the announced portfolio measures. The key upcoming measures are the closing of the sale of our pigment business and the IPO of Windersaldea, which is subject to market conditions. When we look beyond the current year, then the investment in our future for Bunsai in China are of greater importance. With it, we aim to participate in the growth of this region and overall grow profitably even faster.